Good afternoon, brethren. Today is November 16th, 2017. Today I have a word from the Lord that I must speak forth. I want to start off by just giving all praise and glory to Father God, our Savior, and the Holy Spirit for imparting wisdom and knowledge. Last night I was given um, a couple of words to speak that I'm going to share with you, um, with the church today, and that is um, yesterday night I had been praying, I had been studying, and the Lord gave me uh, instruction to look up today's headlines and to specifically inquire about Pope Francis. So I did. Um, there's a news affiliate called Rome Reports, and in Rome Reports, they reported last night that Ferrari had gifted the Vatican with a one-of-a-kind Huracan Lamborghini. With any vision or word granted comes research. So this morning, that's what I have been doing in between watching um, our granddaughter. Um, we've been a little under the weather here at this house. <clears throat> so in my research, I uh, found that the definition of huracan is often associated with the term ojo de huracan, which means eye of the hurricane. These were things, these were specifics that the Lord was pointing out to me as he had me looking up this article. So please pay attention to detail because these tidbits that he has given us is insight, insight that we would not have had it not been for him revealing what he wants to show us. As the Lord was giving me this word last night, it was clear he was more than displeased. He was angered to wrath. As the Lord led me to look up the news that the Pope was headlining in, I received the specific words, The whore of Babylon insists on playing the role of the harlot, portraying herself to assist prostitutes and human trafficking in the auctioning off of this huracan Lamborghini. He gave me understanding it stems this particular model the Huracan Lamborghini stems from the family or the model of the Diablo Lamborghini. When presented with this model, the first thing that Pope Francis did was he signed it. I will include the short video that I received last night um, when the Lord had instructed me to look this up. I will add that shortly. Please be patient with me. Then Pope Francis blessed the vehicle. Then, as he infamously does, he said, Thank you so much and pray for me. That has been, if you have been paying attention to the Pope's um, actions, not only has he it does he fit the bill for the lead the lead contender for the one world religion but he also has continually asked many who meet and greet him to pray for him that has been his slogan the words have been pray for me i have uh, shared with I've shared with you all on um, what that is based upon, which is a book that he himself has suggested to his followers, and that is the book, The Lord of the World. This specific insight that the Lord is granting the church regarding the Pope continually asking for prayers should be pretty evident, given the revelation of the true identity of Mystery Babylon. That word was spoken about a week and a half ago. I will include it as well in case that you have not seen that. Please understand it is not for those seeking to have their ears tickled. The Lord provides clear clarity on Mystery Babylon, written in Revelation 17, King James Version. And no, it is not New York. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, and saying unto me, Come hither, 
I will show you unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. I'm going to stop right there and interject. In this, in this uh, word that the Lord gave me, in this insight of Ferrari gifting the Vatican with gifts, with such a pricey gift, verses ver 1 and 2 should make clear sense to you. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit up, <clears throat> excuse me, sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. A woman traditionally in the verbiage of the Bible, especially in Revelation, is considered to be a church. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Fornication is adultery. Purple and scarlet are the colors of the Vatican's bishops, their robes that they wear. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the Great, the Mother of Harlots and the Abominations of the Earth. The Roman Catholic Church is known as the Mother Church. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and the, the beast that carrieth her, which hath the seventh heads and the ten horns. The beast thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. <clears throat> when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. Rome is called forever and a day, have been known as the seven hills. And there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was and is not even, he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as of yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. In other words, that time is short-lived. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and king of kings, and they that are with him are called chosen and faithful. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. I'm going to read that again. Please pay attention to detail for the listener. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of God shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest is the great city, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Again, the great city that reigneth over the kings of the earth is not New York. So again, I will go ahead and include a transcript with the two um, links attached here shortly. So please give me a few moments to do so. I love you guys, and please, I just uh, encourage everybody to stay covered in the um, blood of the Lamb. For indeed, um, God's children are being attacked daily. So please stay in prayer. It's very important that we stay in prayer. I love you. God bless you.